It's the Y107 Morning Show with Cosmo and Lauren. All right, Lauren, you ready? Duh. <laughs> it's been a minute, and uh, we, we've got um, a, a, a bride-to-be on the phone. Je- Jessica, are you, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. We make, hi, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Um, and your fiancé, from what I understand, he's there too. Cannon is there? Yeah, I'm here. How are we doing? He's there. Good. Good morning. Hello. Morning. All right, so we've got a coin here. We're going to flip heads. You're getting married. Tails, you're not. No, I'm kidding. That's not no, true. No, we're not doing no. that. You're getting married. You're getting married. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you so Jessica and Cannon, one of our five couples, in three weeks from today, from like right now, y'all going to be walking out there getting ready to get married. Yeah. 21 day countdown. <laughs> Does that make you nervous? Because it just made me a little bit nervous. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, let's do this. Let's let's real quick. You guys met at work, correct? Right. Yep. Who wants to go first? Tell us real quick, like your thirty second, how you met Cannon, Jessica. Well, three months going in, he was one of the first officers there that kind of helped me make my way through the prison to kind of learn the job better. And he'd been there over ten years, and just kind of. He made a difficult job a lot easier for me. Let's clarify, and you were at prison because you were working there, not at prison. Not because you, <laughs> you were, were staying at, there. Yeah. <laughs> right, yes. yeah. Okay. As a CO. Yes, corrections officer, all right. So, yeah, basically just, that's how we started talking and getting to know each other and realize how much more we had in common. That's pretty cool. And Cannon, because you had so much more experience, and, and here she comes in, a female CO. There's not very many of them, especially in that environment. You were kind of looking out for her from the jump, huh? Yeah, there actually are quite a few female COs, but just from the get-go, we just kind of clicked, and from there, it just kind of led to what it is today. What do you love about her? Everything. Good answer. <laughs> that is a good answer. Yeah, She's sitting right next to her. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys have three kids between you, correct? Right. What do you think they're going to say? They'll probably be excited and shocked at the same time. (laughs) (laughs) They'll have to miss their Valentine's Day party, but I'm sure they'll be okay with that. Yeah. Probably. This is a a bigger Valentine's Day party, and and we'll give them some extra candy or something to to make it worth it. I love in your guys' entry, your essay of 107 words, you told us you're looking forward for the life sentence together. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't remember if that was me or you, which is whoever one of us said that part. <laughs> well, it, it definitely made us laugh when we read it, and and uh, we had a ton of people, both from all our sponsors that were kind of judges, and and uh, we all loved that line. So uh, we can't wait. Three weeks, as you said, Cannon. The twenty-one day countdown is on. You get to go dress shopping. We know we got things set up with book writers to get rings going for y'all. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, we can't wait, guys. We're super excited. Uh, Thank you all. (laughs) You're welcome. We're so excited for you guys. Three weeks from today is the big Y107 Valentine's Day wedding with Book Raiders. And we will introduce you to another couple tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. on the Y107 Morning Show. Instinct.